All right, we're starting. Can I start? Yeah, go ahead. Hey, everyone, this is Latika today. I'll be showing you guys um, how to cope with um, your own coping box. And I have my friend here whose name is Miss Rebecca Boswell. Hi, everyone. I'm excited to go through our coping boxes today. Yeah. So can I show you mine? Yes. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So this one is mine. It's a cloud theme. So first I just got a random box and then and I painted it blue. And then I put these and I painted these clouds on it and then these pom-poms which represented clouds. And then inside I have my favorite things, a bracelet and some aloe vera, which um, smells like candy, which smell like beautiful. And then I also have these twisty pets. And these twisty pets are these bracelets and you can change them into animals, which is so cute. Here, let me show you mine. So this one is water glitter, which is very rare and it's like this, a reindeer. And then there's some more. And I also have these magnets. I can shape them into a house if I want. And it's very fun. I can also make animals with them too. So here I just kind of made something. See, I don't really <laughs> know what it is. Then I made, then I had this snow globe thing. I don't know what it's called, but inside it has these glitter things, which are pink, and these flamingos, which are drinking the water. And I also have slime, which I'll be showing you guys at the end, and some more slime. So yes, why don't you start, Liam? Yeah, well, I love your coping box and think it's so nice that you have so many good things that you can use to help yourself feel like you're present in a moment and help yourself feel better. Why Thank did you, you choose to make the box with the sky and with clouds? Because I like clouds and like whenever I go on road trips with my family, I just have nothing to do since my electronics I like I don't really have electronics during the road trip, so there's nothing to do. So I just look up and there's this beautiful sky with these clouds in it. Yeah, well, it's nice and to I think of good to memories. Yeah, it's good to think of creative yeah. shapes and to have good memories and things to think about when we're feeling stressed out. And one of the things yeah. I like so much about your coping box is there's things that have to do with all of your different senses. So there's stuff that mm -hmm. smells good and stuff that feels good and stuff that's good to look at. Yeah. So now I can show you some of the things in my coping box. I also have slime right here, yeah, which is really fun to play with because you can stretch it. And I think yeah. you have the coolest strategy for playing with slime, right? You want to show us that? Yeah, sure. So let me just set up because I have... Okay. Okay. Then I have my slime, and this one is kind of, I don't know what color it is. It's it has glittery. It's, yeah, it has these, all these colors. So you have to stretch it. Now let me get my other box of slime too. So I'll make the biggest trick ever. Okay, now the trick is you have to first like just stretch your knee, your slime. Then you have to first stretch it. Like you have to first hold at the top and like wait for a few seconds because we need it to be like transparent. Like see, it's kind of thin, which makes it very glossy. Ooh, yeah, I see. That's really great. Yeah. You have to st stretch it until it's big. So it's stretching, it's stretching. Oh, it's too small. <laughs> <laughs> then it's kind of hard, this trick. Yeah, well, you're the expert at it, so I think you're the person to show it. You're doing a great job. Yeah, thank you. If I stretch it, as you can see, I have my slime. Uh, yep, it's clean, but nice, I guess. Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> the bubble popped. It's so I can see the strategy though. It's a really good strategy. Well, like when you put it on the ground, it kind of like um it kind of like makes a bubble which is very big and you can put a hand inside which has some glassy thing on your hands. Cool. I like yeah. it. Well, we can practice that and add it into the video later. <laughs> Do you want to see some of the other stuff in my coping box too? Uh huh. All right, I got the the sticky hand that you stick on things mm. and then pull it over. That would be Isn't so that nice. fun. Yes, I'm gonna send you one of those. Let's go. And we got okay. the the blocks to play with and fidget with. Um, make something really small or something really big. Kind of like your blocks where you made the house, kind of. Huh? And we got a Rubik's cube. Yeah, I never saw one of those. Yeah, they're hard because then when they're all mixed up, you have to figure out how to get them back to just one color on each side, which is hard. And we got the the squeezy toy. Yeah, that looks so nice. Yeah, and it's blue, which I think is one of your favorite colors. Yeah. And how do you feel when you use stuff in your coping box? I feel it's very calming and very, it's kind of like, I can't really describe, it's kind of like calming, I'd say. Yeah, it's calming. It's nice and peaceful to get to do something that feels fun. Yeah. Yeah, and it's important to have that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. When is it the most helpful, do you think? It, it's like when I'm stressed or when I feel alone and no one like kind of believes me and I'm kind of like have like anxiety I just get my box and I just play with it and I feel like and I, and then I just forget it and like just start it again yeah so, well that's so great that sometimes when we feel lonely or anxious our coping yeah. box is there to help us feel better and it's so nice of you to be sharing this to all the kids on YouTube so they can find it too because I think a lot of people feel scared and anxious and lonely sometimes yeah yeah well, great. Thank you for sharing with all of us. Yeah, thank you too. So that's it for this video. And I hope you guys make your very own coping box. And if you did, please comment below about your experience. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.